Now in this video, I want to go over this clip where Paul Kagame, the Rwandan president, tries to explain the deal he made with the British government. Basically, refugees who go to Britain will be shipped to Rwanda. And Rwanda is going to make a little bit of money off it. But let's see how he explains it and then we shall comment. Recently, there is uh, some discussion we have entered into with one of our partners uh, and friend, uh, United Kingdom. Uh, because I have seen some people say, you know, uh, that United Kingdom gave us money and then they want to dump people here. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, we don't do that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, in 2018, if many of you may recollect, I was the chair of the African Union. And uh, during that time, uh, so many stories, you know, Many young, maybe some of them old Africans were perishing, dying in big numbers in the Mediterranean, being uh, taken through Libya and uh, to many parts of Europe. And I remember reading a story about uh, a, a Ghanaian young man, an engineer, who happened to be following this path, and there are people, there are smugglers, they have networks who take people from Africa, different parts, and smuggle them into Europe. And that time they were using uh, Libya because of uh, its uh, statelessness. There was confusion, there was no state in control. And in fact, hundreds, if not thousands of them were trapped in Libya in different places in the prisons, starving to death, others abused in all sorts of ways. Some people had started coming, picking some of them and taking them to their countries to use them as slaves, slaves. And I told them, I can assure you, with all our weaknesses and whatever we have in our country, these people, if they are brought to Rwanda, they would live a better life than they are living in Libya. Now, there is an obvious problem with this. But if the goal is to support people in Libya and make sure what happened in Libya will never happen again, I applaud that. And I think this is a start. Before we get to the problem of this, I just have to say that we are acting as if this is something new. These kind of deals have been done before. For example, EU and Turkey had a quite similar deal when it came to Syrian refugees. Turkey agreed to keep millions of Syrian refugees in their country and then EU supported them. Now the obvious issue with this is that how is this supposed to solve the situation in Libya if you're making a deal with Britain? And Britain is not even in EU anymore. So if we actually think about this, what will be the end result of this? It will just be that people who are going through Libya, they won't go to Britain because they know if I go to Britain, I will be shipped back to Rwanda. So they're not going to go to Britain. They will go to France, to Germany, to other parts of EU. So in that sense, it doesn't actually solve the issue. Now, what would solve the issue if Rwanda made a similar kind of deal with EU as well? And I'm not sure if they're working on it. I don't have that information right now. But in order for this to be efficient, they would have to make that kind of deal with EU. And then it will be successful. But one thing has to be said, and that is that at least this is something. Finally, an African leader is actually taking this seriously. And finally, there is at least a beginning of a plan. This might not be perfect, but this is a beginning. And finally, somebody is saying that, you know what, maybe... African refugees should be dealt with in Africa. And I applaud that 100%. I think Rwanda is a little bit ahead of its time when it comes to other African countries. But this is something that African Union should work on. And I do agree that it is better to be in Rwanda to, than to be in Europe waiting for your refugee status for years. And some of the people who go to Europe, they are very bright, capable young people. 
So Rwanda is going to benefit from it. And of course, Rwanda is going to make a little bit of money of it, which is also good. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.